Yes, it is going to be incredibly cold tonight as well as tomorrow night too. Let's take a look at Clemson University as we have pretty much completely clear sky. You have to go up to Western North Carolina to find much in the way of cloud cover and a little snow too. And it's certainly cold enough for snow up there. 27 in the Asheville area, 41 in Greenville, 37 in Spartanburg. You factor in the wind and it feels like 14 in the Asheville area. So nice that the kiddos aren't having to go to school, can just hunker down at home or do something something inside and in the upstate it's still feeling pretty chilly there too. 31 that's the real fill temperature in Spartanburg and 36 for Greenville. Fox radar 3D showing a little bit of snow up near the Tennessee line but not very heavy uh, but it is enough to where it could cause some slippery areas on bridges and overpasses. It should wind down later on tonight. We still have one more system that's going to blow through that will help to keep the wind up just a bit in western North Carolina and it'll blow from time to time in the upstate too but it's not going to be as good gusty as what we had today. That was what was so brutal today was that wind chill. We'll have a lighter wind tomorrow starting in the mid 20s. We'll make it to 35 by lunchtime. So just above freezing around the lunch hour and 41 as we got toward five o'clock. This is several degrees below normal for this time of year. We've been above normal for so long. It's like we were due this. I think 18 for Western North Carolina to start the day. A few clouds possible and then right around 30 at lunchtime 35 by five o'clock. Now speaking of what's normal in January. We've seen above normal to, uh, rain in both the mountains and the upstate. We have a surplus of over three inches across upstate areas, and this trend is going to keep going. We're in an active pattern, but not really for winter weather. It looks like all of this is going to be just regular old rain for the upstate. But notice that we may see some brief wintry mix happen in western North Carolina, especially in the higher terrain spots. Light showers as of early Friday morning in the upstate and then we'll continue to see off and on rain through the late time frame on Friday after about six, seven o'clock. We'll begin to see some of it slowly taper off so that by Friday night into Saturday we should start to dry out. So clearing skies on the way for Saturday will be seasonably chilly. So temperatures will rise a bit, but it won't feel as mild as we had for such a good chunk of the month so far and staying dry. We finally won't have a day. We have to all stay inside during the weekend. Both days look decent. Temperatures will be in the low 50s, which is again right around what you would expect for this time of year. And then heading into next week, we start to warm up even more and conditions look fairly dry heading into Monday, even Tuesday. And for our Tuesday tomorrow in the mountains, we're looking at a high of only 35 degrees, but should be dry. And on into the rest of the week, we keep the sunshine around by Friday. That's when we'll have that good chance of rain, a little bit of a brief wintry mix in the mountains, uh, but shouldn't last too long or cause widespread issues.